Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see, I'm holding some proxy cards. And maybe you remember that I got these proxy cards sent to me by Cast and Craft. Uh, the man behind that is James, and he's made proxies called Gamma 1, Gamma 2. And now he's actually sent me Gamma 3. And I mean, these proxies just look absolutely stunning. You also have this back that has a story of its own, but if you want to know more about that, I'll place the link to the other two mail days in the comments below, and maybe there's also a little info card popping up right now, so you can click on that to have a look what that is all about. But in this episode, I'm gonna open up the new set of proxies that James sent to me all the way from the States. It took a while to get there, so that's why this video took a while, because it was actually meant as a Christmas present. Can you believe that, I guess? The time this video will go online, we're in February. Uh, but hey, that's the way things go nowadays. So here we got a nice letter. Timmy, hope all is well. Here are some goodies from the US. Enjoy the Gamma 3 set inside and let a game, and let's get a game in soon online. Keep up the good work. Your friend, cast and craft. Yeah, we, sh we actually we should really, really quickly, um, soon I mean, and then uh, I can use also your beautiful proxies. Oh, and here's another one. Great. This is not a proxy, of course. This is an altar from the Sin City Fallen Angels. So this is my second. Oh, there's a card behind here. Cool. So there is my second Fallen Angel. Let's have a look. Going to open. Yeah. Uh, let's get some nice. It's got some snow. It's a snow Fallen Angel. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> like. A terror snowman. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for sending these. I love these like altered cards that come from somewhere that have a story attached to them. Lovely. Um, okay, and this one, let's have a look. A mind twist. Okay, well, if you follow the channel, you know that mind twist is my least favorite card in Magic. That's probably why you've edited it. Oh, man. And actually, MTG Underground also sent me uh, a mind twist. So I actually have two really cool mind twists that I can play with. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh man, this is so funny. This happens to you when you're naughty. What an amazing altar. I'm, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna play with it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it in a deck. And then we go to the actual gamma set, just check that it's all empty. So here we have, oh yeah, stickers, always welcome. I use these stickers, um, let me see, where is that box? Yeah, here it is. So I've got my deck box, right, where I put all the, all the stickers on. And uh, I love it. And I think I've got this sticker, the Sin City one, at the bottom. Yep, look at that, let's turn it around. It's at the bottom. So I'm trying like to completely fill the box up. Here you see another sticker from Hanseatic Old School. They're in Germany. So we've got all sorts of play groups. And when you open it up, we've got even more. So it's, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stickers on the box. So I always love getting more stickers. Thank you so much for that, James. Um, and now let's have a look at those new proxies, right? I'm curious. And I actually use them a lot as placeholders to kind of know what cards I'm still missing in decks or when you like have to switch cards uh, of your decks through different, uh, through different decks, I guess. Let's just get the scissors here. See if I can open it up. Okay, I don't need them. I can do it. Do it like this. Ooh, I can already see very cool Wheel of Fortune. It's a Wheel of Fortune altar. And City in a Bottle. Oh, man. I actually think I play with City in a Bottle myself. I'm really happy with it because it makes my Timmy plan work a little bit better. But in all honesty, I think the artifact is a little bit too good against Arabian Nights. So I wouldn't be surprised if this card will be restricted in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that, by the way. Maybe you disagree, feel free to disagree. 
soaring. Wow, very cool art. Very cool. Library of Alexandria. So all the epic cards here. Demonic Tutor. Wow, that's nice art. Look at the little devil <laughs> playing the violin. Nice. Very interesting. Maybe you can let me know, James, where you find your art. The Abyss. Yeah, The Abyss. I used to own an Abyss once. I had to trade it away to get some uh, some power. But yeah, it's definitely a cool card. And I love, I love playing with uh, artifacts, so that's why I had an Abyss. And we have a strip mine. Don't love the strip mine so much. Sphere of Annihilation. And that's of course the Chaos Orb. Nice. Sphere of Annihilation. Time Vault. Very cool. What I like about these proxies is that you can see that, um, you know, James, you've put a lot of time and passion into this project and you can just see that when you look at these cards it's not just a proxy you know there's there's work behind it there's an idea behind it and uh, I, I love that you know and there's the last one i believe the moat yeah moat moat is such a cool card uh, well cool but it's it's a good card for the kind of magic i sometimes want to play right that's kind of the control game um and the idea of having a timmy protected by a moat in his castle like flinging little points of damage everywhere that's just hysterical but from the start you know this has always been such an expensive card and yeah i just feel there are better alternatives but if it would have been a little bit cheaper i would have definitely already had an original mode so i'm really happy to now at least own this beautiful proxy uh thank you very much uh james from cast and craft um if you want to know more about Cast and craft, what he does, and all that stuff. Uh, I'll put a link. Well, actually, there's probably an info card popping up right now, or a link in the text, or you can check the description below where you can find a link to his Instagram, right? So you can uh, get in contact with him through the Instagram, and hopefully, we get to play a game soon enough. For now, thank you very much for watching another Mail Day episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. And oh, before we go, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ring that bell. And if you've been here before, please consider liking the video, leave a comment, share it on your socials. It's kind of like a dance. And those are like three things you can do for free to support the channel. Now there's one last thing that you can do, and that is you can become a sponsor of the show. And how does that work? It's quite simple. There's an info card popping up right now. And on that info card, if you click on that info card, it will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And um, the cool thing is uh, you can already support the Timmy Talks starting with $1 a month. So it's not a lot. And when you support Timmy Talks, uh, it's all used for the channel. But also a cool thing is uh, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. You will get access to the Timmy Talks Discord. We also have um, events that I organize to thank my channel members and patrons. And you can, of course, be a part of that too. So if that sounds interesting, please consider clicking on the info card and have a look at the Timmy Talks Patreon page. Talking about all that stuff, let's take a look at our amazing, wonderful, fantastic channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. Let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als fikker te samba gezien.